Today we're going to show you how to change the run capacitor on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we want to do is disconnect the power and the water supply line to the inlet valve so we can pull the refrigerator out enough to access the back of it. Now our first step will be to remove the six quarter inch hex head screws that secure the back cover. Now with the screws removed, we can simply lift the cover away and up and set that aside. That will give us access to the component. Now that we have the back panel removed, we have access to the run capacitor, which is mounted right on the side of the compressor. And we need to remove this retaining clip and pull that run capacitor off of this housing. So it may be easier to take this one screw out to release the tension on those wires. Just depress that clip, lift it out of the opening, and there's a matching one on the bottom, a hook on each end of that clip. And with the clip out of the way, we'll grab the run capacitor, just pull it straight out, and you'll note the retaining hook on the end that fits over plastic pin that is part of that housing. The new run capacitor has the same size of terminals, same spacing, and the same retaining hook at the back. Now if yours is a wired in version, you may need to install these replacement 3 16 wire terminals. If your original harness has quarter inch terminals on it, just simply cut them off, strip the wire back about a quarter of an inch, and crimp the new terminals on. We need to make sure that we have that hole over the post to hold it into place. Line the terminals up with the socket, make sure it fits snugly. There is an oval opening in the bottom of that housing that this hook will fit into. So we'll hook the bottom one in first. Press it enough to hook the top in. And we can reposition that clamp for the wire harness. We're ready to put the back panel on, reconnect our water line. Now we're ready to reinstall the back cover. We'll tuck that flap inside of the base frame. And line up the openings for the screws. We'll reinstall all six screws. Now we're ready to reconnect the water line and our power supply and our repair is complete.